Bonjour and welcome back to another episode of TED Mini. I'm Serena and together we'll be learning about technology, engineering and design. In today's episode, we'll be learning how to create an efficient initial project proposal. So as you may already know, as part of the MedSec exam and even in real life as a designer, you will have to present a proposal of your design, meaning you are going to present an option of what you intend to build to your client or even to the company you work for. During this presentation, you have to present the key work which has led you up to your chosen idea. Practically, you are selling your chosen idea to these stakeholders. This is called the initial project proposal. Why did I use the word efficient in my title? Quite simply, because the way I am going to show you will save you a lot of time when you come to creating your portfolio. For this video, I will be using Microsoft Office PowerPoint. However, feel free to use any other software. Google Slides and Canva are both free online software you can access to create pretty neat PowerPoint presentations. You may ask, why are we creating presentation slides and not Word documents? The answer is quite simple. Slides simply offer you more flexibility if your teacher or boss asks you to create a presentation. At the same time, a couple more slides in your presentation can easily help you create your portfolio, which is easy to print in the layout or format we work with in design and technology. So let's start by creating the initial project proposal. The first thing we need to do is to create 8 different slides. I would suggest adding some form of neat or simple border around your slides. Remember to keep it looking neat and professional. Try to avoid using pictures or patterns in the background of a slide, as it will make reading any text very difficult. If you want to give some color, try to stick to a neutral background which is easier on the eyes. The first slide will be the title page. In this page we'll include the project year, followed by the title of the presentation, the situation number in the case of Metsec, and the situation title. Below, we will also add our full name and surname, followed by our class and school name since we are in an education setting. That's our first slide done. Moving on to the next slide, come to the situation. Start by adding the slide title up top, followed by the situation you have chosen. Below that, write why I chose the situation as a subtitle and write a short paragraph explaining what attracted you to work on that situation. The third slide will be the brief. Write your design brief and remember to include details from your research, such as your preferences of your users and the scale of production you plan to use, be it a one-off, batch or mass production. If you can think of any other markets where this product could be used or sold, I would suggest adding it to your brief as it will show that your product has much more market potential and design value. Create also a separate subtitle for the stakeholders and remember to list them all together with their individual needs. You can get this information from both the situation or brief as well as your research. Our fourth slide will be about research and data. Here you should show all your important research, including any important data about your materials or users, as well as any charts or graphs you have created. Our fifth slide will be our list of specifications, including both the specifications we have created from our situation, as well as any further specifications that may have come out of our research. Our sixth slide is our research of similar products. Here we can add any similar products we might have found during our research. It would be a good idea to add some points about advantages, disadvantages, or maybe some key features of each product. Features which we could also include in our design to improve it if we wish. Our seventh slide is our initial ideas, where we'll add all of our initial sketches. You may import these drawings using suitable digital means, such as your smartphone camera or scanner, as long as they are clear and well lit. So avoid using dark pictures. Remember to have your initial ideas show color, texture, dimensions, and other annotations. And finally, our eighth and last slide will be our chosen idea. Here, show a realistic, marketable product, preferably drawn in 3D. Adding details such as those mentioned for the initial ideas, as well as something like the company logo, will help earn you valuable marks in your portfolio and will make your proposal stand out from the competition. 
If you like, you can also add a 3D model of your design here, which you can make using online free software such as Tinkercad. Once again, this will add to the valuable marks and will also be of added benefit if you're printing your product using a 3D device such as a 3D printer or CNC. I know that this has been a bit of a longer video compared to the usual ones, but I feel that we needed this explanatory video so that I could give you a step-by-step -step guide in creating your initial proposal as well as have more than half your portfolio ready. And finally, that's a wrap for today. If you have any comments or suggestions like my own students, please leave a comment down below and I hope you have enjoyed this video. I'm Serene, and if you have been, thanks for watching.